Thank you. everybody. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Disabilities Redefined with Dr. Wagner. I am yours truly, Dr. Truett Wagner, and we are very early in the morning to catch our star guest today, Ben Lovell from the United Kingdom. Ben is an amputee. Uh, his Instagram name, which is doing amazing, uh, is just the one leg. That is just the one leg. Uh, he was just featured in Amplitude magazine, which we're going to speak about a little bit later. Okay, now Ben, what I found to be very interesting about your story, and I've been doing research into the disabled population for quite some time now. Okay. And uh, you are actually defying what the medical team told you. After my amputation in 2017, 12 months after my amputation, I got clotted to both legs again. Mm -hmm. um, one, cleared, one cleared up with heparin, which is like a blood thinner. Um, the other one, I needed, I needed a, another bypass on my stump. Um, 12 months after that, my, the, my blockage to my stump was back, and it's, it's completely blocked. My femoral artery from like my stomach here, yes. all the way down to my stump is blocked. Um, yes. There is, there is blood getting in there through little blood vessels, but hardly any blood, if you know what I mean. So I was told that within, this was in 2018, I was told that my stump probably had about six months left before it had died. So I, um, I just started working out um, as a way to push blood and also for my mental health. And 14 months later, I've still got my stump and I'm still going. Yes, yes, that was, <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know what, Ben, I didn't know if that was still the case today, because I started doing homework for you, you're all over, you, you've done a lot of articles, you're all over the internet, and um, I had to, I, I, I was trying to find the latest article, just to find okay. out exactly, but now I understand that you actually, everything has remained the same, and you've kept everything intact since your first up your operation. Uh, yeah, yeah. To, to, um, it is painful when I wear my leg, obviously, because because there's no blood getting, there's not enough blood getting in it. So when you work out or when you walk or anything like that, you automatically push blood into your muscles. Obviously, with mine. So the the, the more I wear my leg, the, the more painful it gets. But okay. but it beats it, the, the pain beats not wearing it because that's the only time I feel disabled is when I can't put my leg on. Right. Okay, but now there's, there's one photograph of you getting back to your uh, uh, blood circulation. Uh, widely, uh, widely, just about every article, that this one photograph, you have uh, your, your, your one foot is, is almost completely white, and the yeah. other foot is like a natural color. Right, so basically, it, it all started in um, 2017, in March 2017. Um, I got um, I got started with cramp in my car. Um, I went to see the doctors. They told me I had sci sciatica. So I don't know how it works in the States, but I get I got a sick note for work. So they just write you a sick note so you don't have to go to work. Right. This went on for about four months, just saying that I had sciatica. Um, and then on the 30th of July, that's the photo that you've seen, I got rushed into a hospital uh, to vascular consult and, and check if, to see if I had any pulses left in my foot. Um, unfortunately, there were no pulses left in my foot. Um, now, you're four to six hours to save someone's leg when it gets to that state. I was sent home from hospital for seven weeks. Um, so by the time by the time they got me back into hospital, there they, they was no, absolutely no chance of saving my leg. Unfortunately, so it could have been prevented. This it could have been prevented. Yes, I had no reason. That's what, yeah, because that kept coming up. Every article you would say, <laughs> they thought it was sciatica, and, and it yeah. was, well, well uh, okay, so what? So I've had that to deal with, obviously, as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of, that was always a question, so thank you for, for clearing that up. Yeah, no problem. But now, Ben, listen, you've been through a lot, okay? Uh, uh, the fact that you can kind of semi-joke about it is absolutely a, a wonderful thing. Um, you're in excellent shape. Um, yep. You also have a YouTube channel. We want to throw that out there. 
uh, yep. doing, um, doing weights. You have some cute little toilet roll thing going on on one of your videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, um, it was actually, I don't know if you've seen it over there. That, I it, did. It was, <laughs> the, toilet, the toilet roll challenge. Yes, I saw it. Yes, yes. Only I, I do it with, I did it without my leg on, so I didn't even do one kick up. <laughs> I saw the, I saw, I think half the world saw it then, okay? So, <laughs> but now listen, you have a very good attitude. And I want to, I want to read a quote that you, that you just stated in this Amplitude Magazine article. Yep. And you state, when you come out of the storm, you won't be the same person that you, that you went into the storm with. That is what the storm's all about. 100%. Yes. 100%. This, this, uh, when something like this happens, you have two choices. It's, you, you can sit and wallow and think, why me? Or you can get up and say, try me. And that's exactly what I do. Yes. And well, not only are you doing that, but you're also helping other people. You know, I, I also read that um, you spend a lot of time speaking to uh, people who have been through what you have been through and who are recent um, amputees. Uh, I read that you, actually on some days you'll spend up to eight hours a day on the phone. I don't, I'm on my phone, yeah. Um, obviously, because I've started this and um, my, my Instagram's got better and better as it's gone on. Um, I've just found that like there's a lot of people started messaging me, so I had say new amputees messaging me, um, wives of wives of husbands that are about to be amputated, partners or you know kids kids parents were messaging me and stuff like that. And I try, I really do try to answer every, every message that I get because um, I don't know how hard it is, um, especially at the beginning. For the first 12 months, you know, you, you try to realise just where your life's going to go from this, you know. I, I honestly, I honestly, when I had my leg off, I honestly thought that was it, life over. And it was game over, but there was, there's, nobody, there's nobody in the hospitals. I, I'm trying to start something in the UK as well where I'm trying to put um, amputees in hospital because I believe when you lose your leg and someone comes round and the physios come round and they're all talking to you, telling you you're having a good day or... They don't understand. Nobody understands unless you've lost your leg what it's like to go through it. So I believe that physios, prosthesis, a lot of them people should be amputees because they're the only people that really understand what an amputee goes through. You know, was, was, was there one factor, was there one moment that you really said enough? You know, I've just got to pull myself up and, and, and make the best of this? Um, I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't put my finger on one particular thing. Like I say, when you come home, when you're in the hospital and you've been amputated, uh, obviously the nurses are running around after you, they're bringing you meals and all that. And, and then you go home and, and that's when it really hits you how, how big a life change this is. Uh, I couldn't get up to go and make a cup of tea. I couldn't get up to go to the toilet anymore. I couldn't walk up the stairs. It's just, just, just really mentally, mentally challenging. Um, and I've done... I think I've done about six or seven months where I was just laid on the couch, waiting to get my legs. So there's not much you can do in between that time. You just you're you're by yourself with your thoughts. Um, and I I had contemplated suicide a couple of times because of this. Um, I suffer from PTSD, depression, and anxiety. Yeah. Um, and I just I, I did I did used to go to the gym before I had my accident. Um, but I, 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 once I got back, it was just I just needed to go to the gym. It was more, more for my mental health at, at this point because I didn't know about the blockage. So this purely was for my mental health to get to the gym. Uh, because without it, I like to work out two hours a day, possibly in the morning because that sets my day up. Um, while you're in there, you've got no stresses. You, you don't think about anything and you're releasing endorphins. So when you come out, you're feeling amazing when you come out. And that was how that was how that was how it started for me. My mental right. health just—I I, I was sick and tired of feeling down and depressed, and I just needed to give myself a kick up ass. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. What I really did appreciate about uh, the, the the homework I did on you and reading about you and just you in general, you as a person, is that you shared a lot of your life during that time. 
because I post and I post a lot of positive stuff. I do have videos of when I've been down, which I like to include in my in my in my um, Instagram feeds, just to show that you know I haven't always been this way. I've not always been this positive. I have struggled with my mental health, um, and it can just come. It can come and just it, it overtakes you sometimes, um, and it's hard to get out of. I do understand it's hard to get out of. So. I like to put them bits in as well, just so people understand that, you know, if there's someone else struggling for the same thing that I speak about in the video, it shows them that there is a bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Now, what, now, now Ben, I want to ask, are you doing, now these, these very, very, very flashy photographs on Facebook, are you doing some modeling? What, what, what is, is that, are you in? Are you branching into a new career of modeling? Because uh, your, yeah. your your Instagram page and Facebook page is, is all flash and, and <laughs> I love it. You know, it, it's great. I like it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, during lockdown, during lockdown, I thought I'd uh, I wanted to try try something new, so I, I wanted to get into photography. Oh, okay. Um, I had no, I had nothing to do, so apart from working out in the house, I, I, I just wanted to learn about photography. So obviously, you've seen my photos. Oh. It's hard work. It's hard work trying to be the photographer and the model at the same time. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm starting to get a few modelling jobs from it and stuff like that. So yeah, it's all good. Well, I think you should pursue it. It's it, it's all all the best to you. Final question. I've had such a good time talking to you, but our time for air date is <laughs> okay. <laughs> they only allow a certain number of, of minutes for us to put on each show. Uh, right. Um, what advice do you have, Ben? You've been so. A helpful and and, 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 and and just a great message, but any one specific bit of advice that you could give? If, uh, if it's for amputees, I'd just say stay strong and trust the process. It can be slow, but just trust it and just stay positive. There's nothing, you there's no positive situation comes out of negative thoughts. So if you think positive, your life's going to be positive. That's the, the, the only way I can see stuff, you know. If every time you're looking at, oh, God, I can't do something because my legs sore or this or that, then you're never going to do out in life, are you? So just, just stay positive. Um, while I am on the phone to you, I just want to put a little plug in for my new venture that I've got going on, if that's okay. Oh, no, please, yes. Right, so I've, I've teamed up with um, a retreat company in Tenerife in the Canary Islands. So they run, they run a fitness and well-being boot, um, boot camp. Now I've got my first one in January called the Amp Camp. Yes, I was gonna. It's, it's, it's right here. I was gonna ask you what what was all that about because I saw it on Instagram and I actually followed it. Yeah, talk about. Yeah, so it. The, the, the basis the basis of that obviously I've been on holiday since I've been an amputee, um, and if you go to a normal normal holiday, I'm pretty confident amputee. If I'm sat around the pool and it gets too warm and your leg swells up and you have to take it off, you get stared at. You do get stared at a lot. Uh, now. I'm not too bad with that, but I can imagine there's a lot of other amputees that aren't very comfortable with that. So this retreat is going to be amputees only with the wives or partners, because the wives or partners have struggled with this as well. So my wife will be there to talk to their partners, give them beauty treatments, while the other amputees are going to get pushed to the limits. I'm going to, they're going to be mountain biking, hiking, we're going running, there's a boxing, there's a boxing instructor there, I've got a gym instructor, there's a nurse on hand, there's a nutritionist. Uh, it's a five-star, all-inclusive, one week, and it will be the best holiday that an amputee ever has. Yes. Okay. Well, we will we will put uh, put it put the visuals here on the show. Not to worry. I think it's okay, a great you. idea. Okay. Final final question. What do you want people to know, Ben, about you? This show will be uh, seen uh, on YouTube, but also all over New York. So. Now you're branching into the states. Now, what do you want people to know about you now? Just that, um, just that I'm, I've, I've gone through what I've gone through, and, and I, all I want to do now is help people. And, I, and everything that I do on the Instagram is, is honestly, you know, I, I do, I do, it, I do it when I'm up, I do it when I'm down. I don't hold anything back. I don't. I've got no qualms about stuff. I've not, I've not always been a perfect person, but I've got no problem in talking about that because I believe that's where I've got to today because of stuff like that so yeah just just i am who i am um, if, if you are in need of help or you, 